PVP3 features very robust scheduling and automation capabilities within the software. In this tutorial, we're going to look at exactly how to set up a schedule and how it will run and all of the other features that we can change here with our calendar. So to access the calendar, you can come up here to the view menu and select calendar, or you can use the keyboard shortcut option C. Once the window is open, you're gonna see that there's a couple different options for buttons that we can press here. Up here at the top is the calendar enabled option. So with this enabled, any events that you have here on the left hand side will trigger at the proper date and time that you've selected. If you uncheck that box, then none of these events will actually be triggered when that time comes. So we'll leave that checked for now. And here on the right hand side are two other buttons that we have. One of them is to hide recurring events. And then the other one is to go to the current event. On the far left hand side here is a plus button to add an actual event. So we'll go ahead and create a new event. And you'll see here that it pops up in our list here on the left. And on the right hand side, we can change all of the settings for the event, including naming it, giving it a description, setting the schedule for when this event is going to occur and changing the action that we want this event to trigger. So we're gonna go ahead and start out by naming it and we'll just name it something simple like Monday Slides. You can also add a description to it if you would like. The description doesn't actually change anything, but it would be something visible here on the event in case you need to make some notes about it. And you'll see as I changed the name here on the right hand side that it updated our event on the left as well. Up next, we wanna select the action that we want this event to do. So you can choose down here from nothing if you want the action to do nothing, or you can clear all, so you can clear all of the layers that you have in your project, or you can clear individual layers. I only have one layer in my project, so you're only seeing layer one here, but if you had multiple layers, they would show up underneath clear all in order. And then just below that, you can also trigger a specific playlist. I have three playlists available, so those three playlists are showing up here, but if you had multiple playlists, they would also show up here in order as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the announcements playlist because I want these slides to start triggering at a particular time. And then up next, I'm gonna set my schedule for when I want that to occur. So you can change the date that you want this to start by changing the month, day, and year by just simply clicking on any of these options and typing in a new number. And you can also change the time in much the same way by selecting hours, minutes, and seconds and changing the time. You can change from AM to PM by selecting the option there and either choosing A or P depending on which time that you would like to select. Now to make a repeating event, you can also down here select the days of the week that you want this to repeat on. So if you wanted something to repeat on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you would simply select those options and you'll see on the left hand side that it's added this event on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to trigger at the time I've selected. That's where this option here for hiding recurring events comes into play as you can click the option and hide all of your recurring events to only see the current event that's scheduled. If you unclick that, then you'll see that you can see well into the future all of the times that this event is going to be triggered. If you have a definite end date where you want this to end, you can select that option and then type that day in and maybe we want this to end in one week. So we'll go ahead and change this to the 15th. And when I do that, you'll see that this is updated to show the four times that it's going to play on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then the following Monday as well. So that's about it for the calendar here in PVP3. For more information on PVP3 and all of the other great features we offer, feel free to visit our other tutorials and look at the website, KnowledgeBase, at www.renewedvision.com.